Hi, I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse Vlogs. Jump straight into the products we have for you this week. It's all rackets. We've got some new and some classics as well. So first up, a couple of rackets we've had actually previously on the vlog, but they got delayed, got pushed back due to the ongoing um, delivery issues within pretty much every industry right now. But it's the additions to the Pure Strike family. So right up here, I've got the Pure Strike VS. We've reviewed this racket. Be sure to check out our review for more info on the playability and what our playtesters thought of it. Um, I was on the review of this one. I like stringing this racket really low, um, so down like 46, 48 pounds. Get great playability out of it. When I get above 50, find the upper hoop, just the, uh, the power drops off a little bit too much for my taste, um, and so I'm, I'm struggling to get the depth. When I drop the tension low, the sweet spot opens up beautifully in this one, plays great with a poly at a low tension, and I think if you're looking for some like classic feel, um, but when you get at that low tension, you still got enough pop to get the ball away. This is a great way to go. Specs are right in my wheelhouse too. Um, so yeah, really love this one. Beautiful cosmetic as well. And comes with a leather grip. Love that. Okay, another addition to the Pure Strike family is the Pure Strike 103. This is a super forgiving racket. It's light, it's fast, it's easy to get around. It's got that generous 103 square inch head size. I think it's a dynamite offering for um, a smaller frame to play or someone just looking for something very maneuverable that in spin friendly because you've got the big spin window um, and uh, this racket's definitely going to hit that. Also if you're an intermediate slicer and dicer or doubles player and you're looking for something that you can work the ball with, react quickly, close the net or pick up those tricky mid-court half volleys etc. Again, awesome racket. If you're a stronger player you can uh, weight this one up, give it a bit more plow through and you're good to go as well. Um, comfortable enough, I think, to play with a poly, even though it's a nice lightweight racket. Put a multi in it, though, and you're going to really get some nice pop out of that one. Okay, so that's the new rackets. Let's have a look at the classics. First up, we have a uh, Dunlop Max Ply Fort, and we've actually brought the price down on this one, too, because it just does have a slight bit of warpage to the hoop. It's, it's minimal, but it's there, so we're offering this one at a discount. Um, we got these strung. If you cut the string out and you left this in a racket press, it might come out if you wanted to play it. But either way, it's a beautiful racket hanging on the wall. It doesn't have any other imperfections, really. So uh, it is a good-looking racket um, to hang up, as is. And if you wanted to play it, you could try and, uh, and give it a fresh string up and let it sit in a press unstrung for a while, and you might get that warpage out of it. Okay, next up, we've got an ultra-rare racket. This is a Wilson Jack Kramer autograph mid-size so this is right towards the end of the wood era you hardly ever see these this one's in absolutely brand new condition it's graphite reinforced in the hoop and it does have um, what they call a mid-size head it's a bigger hoop than you would get out of a traditional wooden racket <coughs> super rare don't see many of those if you're a racket collector um, be sure to get that one's got a nice channel groove too i just noticed right there from the uh, in the hoop to protect the strings from uh, court abrasion that's a, a classic, and again, um, I don't know if we'll ever get another one of those in stock. Next up, we've got the head Vilas. Again, um, towards the end of the wood era, got the um, open throat design instead of the mono shaft that you'd see with a more traditional setup. Um, beautiful racket uh, head. We're making the composite Arthur Ash rackets. I had to go back and learn how to make wood rackets to make this racket for Vilas. Little tip bit right there. So that's a great collectible as well. Now, one of my favorite playing. Um, wood rackets is the Bancroft Super Winner. I have one of these in my collection and I bring it out and hit it all the time. Love the playability of that one. It gives you a really nice ping sound when you hit the ball. For whatever reason, I've noticed more than some other wood rackets. And, uh, and it's, I think, a pretty forgiving uh, and easy to use wood racket as well. Love the really skinny shaft on that one. Whips through the air super quickly. Fun one to use right there. And then last but certainly not least, we've got another end of the wood era racket here. This one from Tad Davis. This is their top spin. And again, we've got that open throat design on this one as well. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.